Hi, I'm back again. And now we're going to look at EQ. Now I continue to use this Neutron plugin because it's just got all the things that I want in one load. The sound file that we have here is a bit, I don't know, it's just like... Oh cool, tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. It's just dull, isn't it, really? I think we can make this sound a lot better than, uh, you know, than it sounds at the moment. I don't know what kind of equalization you'll have, but you'll have something very similar to this. You'll have a set of points that you can increase or decrease the frequencies that you choose. So as you can see down here, I'm on four, I'm 141 hertz and I've increased it by 12 dB, which is quite a lot. Or I can reduce it. Sorry, I've increased it, reduced it. There's also something called the Q factor. I can make it wide like this to affect the frequencies on either side. Or I can make it very, very precise to get a, a very specific EQ point. This is, this is like really what's called a notch filter when you start doing this, okay? And here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got more if I want it. I can, I can add further things. I, I mean, I would say to have around six uh, frequency points would be, you know, is a, is a useful number of uh, things. So one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Uh, you might find as you get better at, at doing this kind of EQ that I'm gonna demonstrate that you want to have more. Maybe you find that less, I mean, sometimes I only use two. It depends, you know, two, two frequencies. Now I'm gonna do something called subtractive EQing. And this is a very common way of uh, EQing things because instead of adding and increasing the sound and the potential for overloading, what you're doing is you're just taking things away and letting the frequencies that you want to be there to shine through by taking away the stuff that doesn't shine through. Right, so let's look at this. Now this, this first one here, this is a high pass filter. This means anything above the frequency that you set here is allowed to pass, but everything below is reduced, is attenuated, cut out, volume lessened. So I'm going to, do I like that pattern? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it a little bit stiff here. Now, I've got 80 hertz. We've already discussed about frequencies previously. Uh, anything below 80 hertz, you're just not gonna hear because the, the human voice doesn't really go below 80 hertz. Obviously, if you're listening to a basso profondo voice, maybe it will do, so just be aware of that that it can do. But generally speaking, voices don't go below 80 hertz. So you can safely cut out anything below 80 hertz, which gets rid of like rumble, noise, wind, and all that kind of stuff. On a female voice, you could actually take this a little bit higher. You could put it to, I don't know, 100, 110 hertz because female voices tend not to come down even you know down to even that but you know look at your sound file as as we did in uh, rx elements before <coughs> and you'll see the frequencies that the voice goes to i'm definitely going to get rid of that so i've done that now what you do with subtractive eqing and i'll tell you this really really works is you listen to the sound file and as you listen to the sound file, you increase the level of a frequency. And then you go up and down and you look for resonances. You look for points as you're going up and down where the sound does that kind of accentuated feel. It's like when you go into a room and you're talking and there's a resonant frequency in the room where certain tones of your voice get increased in volume uh, because there's something about the room which resonates with your voice and so you're going one two three and every time you go three it becomes louder because that's the kind of resonance of the room so we're looking for these kind of resonances uh, because they're causing the problems they're the ones that there's too much of and they're the ones we need to reduce see if we can pick up on these frequencies. Oh, cool, tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. Oh, cool, tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. 
Oh, cool. Tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. Oh, cool. Tag me. Now, I don't know how this will come across uh, in, in the recording, but I'm getting a frequency there, which I really don't like. It, you know, I, I, I can feel it accentuating. I'm going to, like, do a little bit of that. I'm going to just take it out. But I think I'll make it a little bit wider because it's quite it's quite big. So I'm going to play some more. Oh, cool. Tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. Oh, cool. Tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. Oh, cool. Tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. OK, do you hear oh, that? Oh, cool. Tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. OK. Oh, cool. Tag There's, me. I'm always trying to get more followers. Oh, cool. Tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. Oh, cool. Tag me. Can you hear that? Oh, cool. Tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. Oh, cool. Tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. Now, you may think, well, how does he know how to turn it down that amount? And how does he know how to leave that, you know, that, that, that wide? Now, this is something which I've just kind of, because I've been doing it for a while, I just kind of know, you know, sort of, sort of where to put it. And it's something that the more you do it, the more, you know, the quicker you become at it and you'll begin to recognise subtleties within the actual um, editing that you're doing, OK? So I know I'm just sitting there doing it and it looks kind of easy to do and you're thinking, well, how's you know? I just know because I've just had experience and experimented and tried and this is what you have to do as well. Uh, there's no real shortcut. Your ears will get trained and you'll begin, you'll begin to listen to files and you'll go, oh, I know what that is. That's 250 hertz, you know you will actually start to you know, figure that out. I kind of know already what the frequencies are that I need to get rid of you know, for this uh, file to make it sound a lot more interesting, OK? So uh, let's just continue with this. Oh, cool, tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. Oh, cool, tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. Oh, cool, that? tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. Oh, cool, tag me. I want to get more trying to get more followers. Oh, cool, tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. Oh, cool. Tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. Oh, cool. Tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. Oh, cool. Tag me. I'm always trying to get more okay, followers. Good. Oh, cool. Tag me. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'll just do one more because I don't want to spend all day doing this. Oh, cool. Tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. Oh, cool. Tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. Oh, cool. Tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. Hear that? Oh, cool. <laughs> tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. Now, I kind of missed out one here, but I'm not. I don't mind that one. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to bring down the gain here. I always use this control here because then it's super accurate, me going down. Oh, cool. Tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. OK, so for me, it's sounding clearer. Now, what I'm going to do, I know it's subtractive, but I'm going to add stuff above 10 kilohertz because this gives kind of air. And it's it's a kind of it's almost an intangible thing, but it just makes that a little bit bit more f bit more interesting, especially if your ear hearing is still usable. Generally speaking, people from about twenty two onwards, you're unlikely to hear much more above fifteen kilohertz. Now I'm going to put a little bit of five k here. This is the sibilances that I was talking about earlier on. And this will just this will just make it a little bit brighter, uh, and again, again, all of the, there there are no hard and fast real rules. It's like Joe Meek says, the famous uh, British well, it might not be famous thing in America, but the famous British uh, uh, producer. He said, if it sounds good, it is good. So if you like the sound of it, it's great. But one thing is, when you're editing, you will lose track of what is good and bad. So you need to edit. And then go away, do something else, come back and listen to it with fresh ears. And it might shock you or it might make you happy, OK? But you've got to make sure that you do take time out. Otherwise, you'll find yourself editing away, thinking it sounds great, but you've just got used to a really bad sound. And uh, we don't want that. OK, so let's just hear what it sounds like now. Oh, cool. Tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. Oh, cool. Tag me. I'm always trying to get right. more followers. And we'll oh, just cool, put it in me. bypass. I'm always trying to get more followers. Oh, cool, tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. So that's oh, cool, without any EQ. I'm always trying to get more followers. Oh, cool, tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. And this is with. Oh, cool, tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. Oh, cool, tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. 
Well, I don't know about you, but I think it sounds better. Um, and uh, you know, that's just a very quick one. And, and of course, if I'm working on a film or a documentary or whatever it is I'm working on, I will do this to every single file. <sighs> okay, so I'm just gonna apply. Let's watch what happens to the sound file. Oops, it's gone down in volume. That's a bit scary, isn't it? And that's because, of course, I've taken out lots of, you know, bass stuff. So, uh, you know, but fortunately I've got latitude here and so will you have. Uh, to turn up. Let's just turn up. Oh, cool. Tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. Oh, no. I just need to, I just need to turn it a little bit more. Okay, so let's just, uh, oh, okay, okay, right. So that I've now turned it up back to it's, you know, with no reduction. Oh, cool. Tag me. I'm always trying to get more followers. Okay, so that's pretty much bang on the, uh, the 23. So I'm happy. It's quiet. The EQ sounds good. Don't know. It's ready. It's good to go. I'm ready. You know, if I now put on, uh, let's uh, let's shove on some background sounds here, uh, which I have here. Uh, let's put on Atmos, Atmos, Atmos. This is actually part of uh, uh, a seven-part series, uh, which has been, which is a Californian kind of national lampoon type type comedy it's actually very good uh, uh, put together by a guy called Adam Williams in LA oh cool tag me I'm always trying to get more followers okay uh, and it's at a haunted house so very appropriate for the the recording of this uh, video which is Halloween time okay well thanks so much for watching happy to receive any remarks or comments on anything that I'm doing hope this helped all the best bye bye